Chalk Giraffe, written by Kirsty Paxton, illustrated by Megan Lauder. One day, I drew a giraffe out of chalk. My giraffe came alive. He could eat. He could talk. I'm alone, he cried out. There's just gray all around. So I drew him a tree growing up from the ground. My giraffe liked that tree with leaves blowing in the breeze. They tickled his nose and made him sneeze. But still I could see that his face looked forlorn, peering out from among the acacia tree thorns. My giraffe would not laugh. Instead, he just said, I am tired and I can't use cement for a bed. So I drew him some grass. It was bright green and lush. And soon the night came and all was a hush. Till my chalk giraffe gave a deep grumpy sigh and then waited for me to make a reply. What's the matter? I asked. It's too dark, he protested. I need a nightlight to get well rested. So I drew him a zillion bright white chalky stars and later a sun coming up from afar. Too much, Giraffe grumbled. It's so bright I can't see. Draw me some shade for under my tree. Well, I've had enough, I said, dropping my chalk. I wish I'd never drawn a giraffe that could talk. Instead of saying thanks, you make rude demands. So goodbye, chalk giraffe. You've had your last chance. So I rubbed that giraffe right out with my shoe, and the stars and the sun and the tree that I grew. But that night, I kept thinking of my work of art. Sad thoughts settled deep down in my heart. I really missed that grumbling giraffe. I knew I still loved him, laugh or no laugh. The next morning, I leapt up awake. I picked up my chalk to fix my mistake. I drew a sun and some stars, an acacia with thorns, and my frowning giraffe from his feet to his horns. But this time, I noticed a twinkle in his eye. He seemed full of mischief. I wondered why. Then Giraffe grabbed my chalk, and I suddenly found I had stick legs and arms and was stuck to the ground. Come, said Giraffe, and look down from up here. The world looks quite different than it would appear. So I proudly showed off my tree-climbing talents and scaled his long neck with great skill and balance. And finally perched between his two horns, I surveyed this new world, and I too felt forlorn. I saw what he saw, and it looked kind of lonely. He needed more friends to make his home homey. I know what's missing, I cried out with glee. This world needs much more than just you and me.
So Giraffe and I got to work right that minute. We drew zebras, a buck, and a small spotted jennet. We drew snakes up in trees and tiny dung beetles, a lounging leopard, and two sprinting cheetahs. And a rhino with horns, and elephants with trunks, and a croc with a grin looking out for his lunch. There's still something missing. Giraffe whined without end. Will you ever be happy? I asked my chalk friend. But still I could see, from Giraffe's point of view, there was something absent. A giraffe number two! So I let my chalk friend draw another giraffe. It looked just like him except that it laughed. I sighed with relief. It had taken a while, but our work was now done. Giraffe finally smiled. So I climbed right back down his long furry neck till I was to him just a small, tiny speck. When I left the chalk world, my giraffe didn't flinch, but I think that I saw his right eye move an inch. And I knew at that moment we'd created great art, and I was glad that I'd let my giraffe play his part.